Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be a Q&A with one of my besties. Probably the main one. <laughs> um, so we, we've basically done this look which will come up in a couple of days but this one should be up very soon. Um, so stay tuned well, it is because you're watching it. But yeah, actually whilst you're watching this, the makeup is going to be up already. But yeah, we're going to do... The... How many would you like to do? Maybe just go with the flow, and then yeah. when we just feel like, ugh, we won't answer Obviously anymore. it's not going to be like an hour long. We'll no. try and keep it maybe 15 minutes max. Like, looking at some of the questions, <laughs> some of them are like funny, some of them are a bit dead. So, we'll just go with the flow. You can see we're from South East. Why? Dead. Dead. <laughs> okay. It's a bit dead. But yeah. Shall we get into it? Yeah, so... Let's get into it. Yeah. <laughs> The first question is, when and where did we first meet? Do you remember what you were wearing or why you were both in the same place at the same time? Do you want to answer this <laughs> one? <laughs> we were, so we went to a girls' school. Um, obviously, we're from London, so I'm not going to name the place. But it, it, it was known for not the best of things. And <laughs> so we Basically, had, we we had met a great in school. Way. <laughs> we, we had a green school. uniform. Dreadful green uniform. Honestly, it was horrible. Um, it wasn't very smart, was it? It was a t-shirt and a skirt. Yeah. Like, Typical, like... We really wanted shirt, blazer. And actually, the year after we left, they got it. We were so annoyed. But anyways... She was. I didn't care. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, I re basically, we were in English. I think it was English. We met in school it 10 years school. ago yeah, in, our in, in our English class. And basically, I was sitting because obviously we we had. But two, we weren't two, in year two, seven. Two. We weren't in no, year no, seven. No. I think it was year nine. We're not that old. You know. I think it was year nine. You know. So yeah. And basically, I was sitting down with Sophie, one of the girls in my class. Um, oh. And next thing you know, this one comes in like late. ten minutes late. Nothing new. All the teachers knew. She was always getting kicked out. <laughs> no, I wasn't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you were. No. Especially <laughs> old German. <laughs> She tried to get me in trouble in my French class. She'll be like, I only got kicked on out of German. That's the only class I got kicked out of. <laughs> but yeah, so she came and rocked in late, like she's some kind of queen or something. And she literally, so she will open the door. She went, <laughs> Did I? Oh. And was like, with her big bushy curly hair and walked up. Long curly and she hair. was like, Hi to me and Sophie. And we were like, Sat Hi. Because obviously we had how many. <laughs> How many? It years, was like when you were sitting. I'll never no, forget. No, no. How many? Um, what do you mean? What what's you it called? Um, what's it called? Like obviously, because I was ten to in. Oh, sets. Yeah, how many Different sets? Different set. Did we have? I do not know. But this Let's was just the say year. Six, six that, sets. So obviously so she was in the second half of the set, and we were on the first. So obviously, I never actually. We didn't really talk. So basically, from year seven to year nine, because <laughs> there's sets, right? So from year seven to, but not the grading sets, just they split year seven into two halves. And then there's like, say, for example, six sets in each half, right? The two halves, her six sets, so diff six tu tutors. Yeah, that's it. Tutors. And then my six tutors, like, well, I was one of six, um, would never mix. And then year nine, I think it was like year nine or the end of year nine, they mixed the sets. So I didn't see her or know of her for like, Three years? Yeah. So this is when we met. Three years in. We're going all around the world. Continue. And um, <laughs> so she sat down and we were like, oh, hi. Because I've never seen this girl. Maybe Introduced she's herself. You know? She was really sweet. Yeah. I'm always sweet. It's because you were fat. <laughs> I was. And hairy. And like, oh, God. You weren't hairy. You weren't I hairy. I had whiskers. But and we everyone all did. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. So she sat down. And it's only actually like a couple of years later that I actually asked her, like, what made you come and sit with us? And her response, you were the most normal looking ones. <laughs> How? <laughs> Didn't I as well said that when I sat down? No. I thought you I said. You were just like, she was texting. Her da I'm hoping your dad don't see this. But she was texting. She was like. She did not give a crap if any teacher would like say. Can I just point there. out? I think I was quite good in school. No, like grade wise, she was really good. Like she was very smart. I was but, yeah, just normal, we... like. But I was. I feel like I was well behaved in school. I was just. I was no. I was like. I didn't get in trouble. I didn't have detentions. I didn't get excluded. I only had one detention for throwing a banana skin. <laughs> that was it. That was it. 
But um, yeah, so we met in school so because met. I was normal looking. Question two <laughs> is, if you had just one place in the whole world that you'd love to go to, where would it be? Why would you want to go there? Okay. So you're going to answer for yeah, me. Yeah, I'm going to answer for her. I don't even so... know because I'm so indecisive. Are you kidding me? Okay, oh. so from what I know, all this it's time not, that I've known her, she said not. Dubai. Yeah, but I've been there now. Yeah, but you've always, you still want to go and live there because you love the whole culture, the whole atmosphere, like... Yeah. But yeah. what we found out is so hard as a woman to get a job there, like... No, it's not I, that. I don't think I've seen any women work in Dubai. Are you crazy? Loads of women work in Dubai. Because, I like, someone told me that you can't, like, unless... They're talking rubbish. Of course you can. You just have to respect the culture of the country that you're in, which I don't have a problem with anyway because it's half my culture anyway. So, but basically, her answer is correct because that's always been. Like, I've been to Dubai before. You've always said it. <laughs> yeah, and I've always wanted to like live mm. there. I don't know if I've not told anyone. I think I have. And you guess. I don't know. I your don't fear. know. You say yours, what, and I'll tell you mine. What that? What my fear is? Yeah. Oh, I have loads. <laughs> I have loads. Oh my god, I'm such a warrior. I have so many fears. I have so many fears. Okay, what's so one that I don't know of? It doesn't have to be an animal. You know them all. It doesn't have to be an animal, even if it's like a feeling or anything. Um, dying, which you know. Um, but a feeling, which you know. Uh, but I think everyone, everyone has. has most yeah. people have that fear that sometimes I'll be like, I'll be lying in bed, right? Mm. <gasps> I'm gonna <laughs> die one day, and I just wake up and I'm like, oh my god, I'm gonna die one day. <laughs> like life without like close friends, like people that actually care about them going. Feel like especially it's a process it's just got it's just yeah. getting depressing now but it's like it's it's something that everyone has to go through but it's like still it's my biggest Look, fear it's an army helicopter where <laughs> oh god it's still it's my biggest fear but aside from that um oh one that you don't know i tell you all do you want to think about it and yeah you it. say your fear mine is like also a general like i feel like everyone but it's obviously i'm an adult now and I pay for my own bills, I pay for everything. Um, oh, I think I know your fear. But my fear is still of that growing up. Like, once I leave home, because even though I pay, literally, I pay for everything. Um, I don't. <laughs> she's lucky. Um, I, In a way, I'm happy because I can budget myself and I know what I can spend, what I have to save, blah, blah, blah. But once I'm out of my family home and move out, it's that fear that that's it. It's just you, you and your partner, and that's like you just have to do everything. And mm. I feel like you got your parents to always rely on, or you got them for support and everything. But once you're out, you're just thrown you, into the world. Yeah, yeah, I feel like you literally you think that you're gonna be like, yeah, I'll pay for this. No, my sister she struggled big time. I think as well. It's more and I like think that's my fear. Just when you move out and you just have to become independent, and you have to. Yeah. This, okay, this video is going to be so long. It's okay. Sorry. Um, I think as well, it's like, it's the fear of, are you going to get where you used to think? You know when you're younger, like, okay, so what, we're 23, I'm nearly 24. Like, when I was like 17, I was like, oh yeah, I'll be like married. <laughs> I'll be married by the time I'm 25, have a career, a stable career, and like, have a child, or at least be pregnant with a child. Realistically, that's not going to happen, not to all of us, and it's not a bad thing. So I think as we get older, it's the fear of, like, are we actually going to meet those goals? Do you even still have those goals? Because I don't. Mine are forever changing. I think my, my fear, of, I thought of it, is, like, um, is sickness. Is sickness, like, getting sick. Not ageing and getting sick, because that's a part of life, like, getting sick. It's all to do with life. I feel like... Yeah. Yeah. One f it's a natural fear. I think everyone goes through it. But yeah. <laughs> uh, the next question which I was reading, and I think this is quite nice, is what is the one part of your friend's body or aspects of their personality that they love the most? I feel like we should do what... what so what we think each other loves and then what we love on yeah. each other. Yeah. Yeah, you go first. Okay. Blow my head up. <laughs> I'm joking. So okay. we do body. Oh. What do you think my favourite part of my body is? She lost her hips. She's like, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> like, literally, when she knows she looks good, she just does this 
really weird <laughs> walk and she's like trying to strut but it's like more robotic but i do it in like a playful <laughs> yeah, way like i'm not doing it like i'm sexy way. i just do it like and then she'll be like Ooh. <laughs> and then i'm like Pah. and then i dip yeah like the people she works with i don't even know what they think of her but what do you like about yourself physically mm. is it body not face well, well i said your body like your hips um yeah they're all right what do you like about yourself? Could be my eyes, my eyes. It's my eyes. Her eyes are so weird. They just change. They change, but it's not in a vanity way. It's more like because I feel like I speak with my eyes. Yeah. Like if and not in a weird way. Like if I'm pissed off, you can tell I'm pissed off. If I'm sad, I've got sad eyes. If I'm happy, I've got happy eyes. I feel like they. I don't need to speak. <laughs> they say it all. That's probably it. I think that your favourite part, your favourite part of your body is your waist. It's your waist because it's tiny. I've got. Tiny. Do you know what? It's, it's a blessing, but it's such a curse. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Sorry, I'm dying. No, no, it's horrible because obviously I have to wear like formal wear. So I'm a lot bigger on my bottom half than I am on my top half. So when I wear a blazer, blazer I just look so straight. But that's why. I, when out of work, I just wear everything fitted so people can see that I'm actually not big. Yeah. I'm just really curvy. Yeah. Um, my favourite thing is my eyes. Like, my eye colour changes. I've got hazel eyes, but they change from dark brown. When I get tired, they go um, really hazel. When I cry, they go like a green tint. My eyes, and when I'm Her day -to -day sick... Her day-to-day colour is brown, though. Yeah. Like chocolate. But when I'm sick, they are so dark. Yeah. It's actually kind of creepy. Um, and also, I love that I've got like an almond big eye shape. Yeah, you do have good <laughs> so eyes. So I can like do quite a lot of makeup stuff on it. So, so my yeah. favourite part of Donna's body is... You just said it. No, that's what I thought yours was oh. of yourself. Oh. That's what we done. Like you, oh. mm -hmm. Yeah? You just said, okay. So my... She's just confused. My favourite part of Donna is... Nothing. I'm joking. <gasps> um... <laughs> She's got nice lips, not in a, not in an inappropriate way. I like juicy. I just love. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, she's got nice lips. Anytime she wears lipstick, any lipstick looks nice on her. That's it. But my lips are so bad because, <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> like they go, like I said, they go like duck lips. So when I ever she does this, no. <laughs> I can't. How help was it. your day? I got this thing where I just go <laughs> she like. Does. Like that, and I don't know why, but yeah. <laughs> okay, what is your favourite part of my personality? That she thinks she's so funny. Oh, you obviously think I'm funny. That's why it's your favourite part. <laughs> oh, like this girl, honestly, like, oh. if you're having a crap day, the crap that she comes out with, just, <laughs> yeah. Sometimes she's she's my special friend, you know. <laughs> What's yours? <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Don't <coughs> make me laugh. Um, no, I won't get emotional with laughter. My favourite part of Donna's personality is. I feel like being on the spot. She's very caring. You're very caring. Ah. She is. I am. She's very caring. I'm always that friend that you can call at whatever time. Unless she's silent treatment in you. <laughs> Then don't call her. This she woman, won't answer. Do you know how many times she's called me at like three in the morning UK time because like she's had an argument with whoever. Abroad. Like abroad, by herself, slightly in the street, intoxicated so... with alcohol. I don't drink. Intoxicated with water. Um, walking so it the streets. Me like walking the streets of there. Rome, fuming. Literally, I'm I literally friend. call you her call and me? I'm like, Donna. <laughs> She's like, Rosie, it must be like 3 a.m. where you are. What are you doing? I'm like, I'm, I'm walking around Rome. She's like, by yourself? Yes. Why? Because I'm pissed off. No, seriously, I'm like, whatever time you can call me, I'll answer with someone. Anyways. <laughs> Is fall, winter, spring or summer your friend's favourite season? And why? You like summer. I love summer. She loves summer because she wants to be tanned. She wants to be like I wearing colours. I go colors. so high. Like, for me being foreign and Albanian, everyone in my family, even like the fifth generations, um, they, they're just olive toned and I'm white as hell. Like luckily I went on holiday this year 
and now I'm so tan, I'm so happy, but... But yeah, summer is... She likes to wear colour as well. It's all not about today, pastel. today. <laughs> not today, because it's, it's not summer. It's crappy Autumn. outside. But she likes to wear colour. So I, feel, I feel like summer's your season. You're happy, more happy. Everyone's more happy when the sun's out, but like summer's your season. With Rosie, she's a fall girl. Fall slash autumn, winter. Yeah, because it's America. America is fall, and autumn, in the UK it's autumn. Autumn, winter. Same thing. Um, basically, she likes a lot of dark colors, so like browns, olives. But she have literally, if she could every day wear black, she will wear black. Like I think that's your comfort zone. Yeah, wear black I just feel and like... also maybe just a little bit of a color. Yeah, like... nothing bold. Like I don't care. I'll wear pink and purple and like green and yellow. I She'll be a walking jeans, rainbow, and like... I'll be <laughs> like I go outside and I love it if it looks gloomy. It's so funny because at work it. I'm wearing obviously black and white, smart, and then she wears like brightest the most... colors in the world, <laughs> like the most brightest. And then but outside of work, we're the opposite. opposite. So it's <laughs> but yeah. On average, how long does it take your friend to get dressed in the morning? She'll get up at 7 every day anyway. I naturally get... wake up at 7, She gets 7 up 30. at 7, 7.30. I don't even know what time that is. I never see it. Apart from today, I saw it. <laughs> um, oh, like two hours? It takes you like two hours? If, you, if she doesn't need to wash her hair, two hours. If, if she I, needs if to I'm wash her hair... somewhere, how long? What do you mean? Like, say I've got a party or something. Oh, but it says in the morning. Oh, in the morning? Like, yeah. for work? Yeah, yeah. I guess Two it depends. Hours. We've got three different shifts. We've got an 8.30 start, an uh, 11 start, or a 1 start. I'll tell you. Two hours <laughs> when she's rushing. Yeah, apart from the early, early shift, it'll be like, what, 45 minutes uh, to yeah. an hour? Within an hour, I'm like, done. Yeah, but that's her basic day. Two hours, if she needs to wash her hair, free, because she's got to dry it, do her makeup. Yeah, she takes ages. Two to three hours. Rosie... <laughs> It's depending as well. If I need to wash my hair. If she needs to wash her hair, she will wash her hair and just go to work with no makeup. Like she, she's comfortable in her skin. Like she, she will go with bare face. But if she wants to, and moan about it all day. Yeah. <laughs> I'm comfortable in my skin to leave the house with no makeup, but moan about it all day long. That I'm ugly. I feel ugly. Shiny. But oily. when she wears makeup, I think it takes you roughly about half an hour. Yeah. But 45 minutes. Yeah, I could she be always up. takes even um, if she's on a late shift, she will take forty five minutes. Because I like just to, to sleep. quickly put some loose curls in, and she she's very simple. She's like not in a bad way, but you like to you like simple makeup. You don't want to be like extreme. Yeah, like me. I feel like my character is so bold and in your face that my face can't be the same. Yeah, I need to balance. <laughs> I need to balance. Oh, what? Hmm. What this one? Which one's that? What are you looking at? No, this one. Oh, wait. Yeah. Okay. What movie <laughs> genre would your best friend watch? Horror, chick flicks, comedy, action, drama. I feel like you like a horror slash comedy. Or am I wrong? Is horror not in there? I feel like you I feel like you can stomach a horror. Together, we Together can we watch, watch horror. a horror. Because and she likes crying. my reaction. <laughs> because I'll show you. This is it. Sorry, I just need a prop. Put your pajama buttons. This is us in the cinema watching a horror. I, I need to have like a little blanket, it gets so cold in this there. This is me. Literally. That's how I watch a horror. Like we went and watched it. And it do you know what? After you actually see the clown, it's not that scary. I yes, was laughing is. my head off. This yes, girl was screaming. Traumatized. <laughs> I'm not even scared of clowns. I'm not scared of clowns, but that just that just messed me up for life. Um, but you're if you're watching a movie on your own in bed, I would say a comedy. Yeah. Comedy you always want to watch a comedy. Romantic. I'm such romantic comedy. Like I steal all her books. So I have a romantic book. Like love them. Yeah. With you. Oh, I don't know if you're gonna get this because I'm a bit of like undercover with this one. What do you think? That I watch. Like she's a bit of a. It depends on her mood. Yeah, I'm so flipping <laughs> indecisive. Like she can go from documentaries. Like, yeah, but it's a movie, so a documentary's not a movie. Um. No, I but already I mean, like, know. Because it's just... Movie genre, which yeah. would be, like, movie, like, comedy movie, oh. like, action movie. Yeah, documentaries. So not a movie, it's a documentary. Yeah, but, I mean, like, in general. As a... Oh, so we're changing the question? No, it's the same. Like, I like comedy. You like um, documentaries about all different things. Yeah, but documentaries aren't movies. A documentary's, like, 
a documentary and then a movie's like a film. Okay, anyways. Um, <laughs> yeah, like I said, <laughs> like I said, um, she changes from like... She doesn't know Sci-fi. Her yes. Oh my God. Yeah. Um, yeah. Comedy. Yeah, I love a comedy. Because when she's sad, she likes to watch comedy. comedy. And also... Um, thriller? Yeah. Not horror. Psychological thriller. Yeah. I love a psychological She hates thriller. anything romantic. Blech. But there's only one film that we've watched two of and we're waiting for the next one to come out. It's the only movie like romantic based. Fifty Shades <laughs> of Grey. No, it's Freed. Freed is coming out. Yeah, Fifty Shades of Grey and Darker. <laughs> but, but do you know yeah, why? That's the only romantic... We only like it because we read the books and we were young and we were like, ah. <laughs> but now when we watch the film, I cringe, I feel sick. Do you know sick. the book came out four years ago? Really? No, it was more than that. Surely. Five? Long time ago. We were like, I think first school. year of college. First year of college, yeah. No, that, um, that... That's scary, man. Yeah. But now when we watch it, I cringe. I cringe every time. Oh, I, I love it. it. I love the storyline, but yeah. I don't. I think there's no storyline. It's shit. Uh, do, do, do. What one can we do? Um, be honest, what is the one thing that your friend says or does that drives you absolutely insane? What's so the next but question is... Be honest, what is the one thing that your friend says or does that drives you absolutely insane? What so about? what's yours about me? Donna does this thing, <laughs> right, with her lips and it makes me so angry. She does this expression as well. She done it today, me, me and her sister were laughing about, about it. And she goes like, so for example, she'd be like, I don't know who she thinks she is. So we'll use that line. I don't know who they think they are. I don't know who they think they are. I don't pout, my lip just She does like... this, yeah. She goes, I don't, but I have to pout to do it because I can't do it. <laughs> She's like, who do you think you are? Do you know? Like she <laughs> does it, and it just, every time she does it, she would say good morning, she'd be like, morning Rosie. And I'm just like, I don't morning even Donna. I do it, like, honestly. Like, so like... Yeah, look, this thing that she does, <laughs> I hate it. I don't even realise that I do it. <laughs> that no. drives me mad. It drives me mad. It drives me mad. <laughs> Honestly, like, I don't, since I, obviously, I had braces, not that I needed them, um, but I just wanted them. And then people were like, oh my god, you're such a brace face. I didn't care. <laughs> and um, with the, because I had the quite thin lips, but with the braces, it just made my lips go slightly curved. So obviously now they look a lot fuller. But, yeah, um, yeah so, I, I don't know. But with you, I oh don't do anything, god, I'm not annoying. This girl seriously drives me up the wall sometimes why i'm trying to think so she'll be like if she's going to work she's going on a date she's going out with friends we're going out but also she's getting ready at home so she'll be like i don't know what to wear and i'm like oh why don't you wear this and she's like literally she will find anything to say no to anything like what indecisive yeah but yours is like some some next i kind of i am so indecisive or it's she'll ask for your opinion, like, because obviously she wants to know what you think. You'll tell her. And I'll disregard it. And she won't even it. listen to you. It's like, why are you even asking me the question when you're not going to even pay attention? Oh, it does my head in. Yeah, I'm really indecisive. <laughs> I'm so indecisive to the fact that it's actually probably a problem. I think that like, it needs to be fixed. This one. Which one? <laughs> what phobias does your best friend have that only you know about? Isn't that like fears? Phobias. Uh, but I think so we're going to do animals. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> what are you scared of? Snakes? Yes. She's scared of snakes. I am petrified of She's snakes. She's scared of snakes. I am petrified. Because I went on a holiday, I put a snake around my neck and I sent her the picture and she shit brick. It was so funny. Do you remember it in Dubai? I had a snake around my neck and I was like, oh, they're just, this I snake don't, I around can't. my neck. Like, the, I think everyone's scared of snakes, but I just, mm -mm. Yeah, yours are snakes. I have nightmares about them. What's but that? with Rosie, I think... Well, I know. She is so scared of spiders. It's actually oh. a joke. Like, I've tried to scare I her I hate before. them. <laughs> I hate them. At her old house, um, there was a spider. <laughs> Am I going to remember broom. this? With the broom. <laughs> you tried to kill it. <laughs> right. I don't want to... <laughs> They're so scary. And I tried to kill them, but I'm scared. Like, if I hit them with the mop. 
She will actually like, go bounce back, back, in back at me. I can't. I need to detox the house. I can't. There was a spider in my hallway the other day and I screamed the building down. I screamed <laughs> my lungs out. I called my dad. I was like, Dad, a spider. Once, once it was so, there was a spider. Was it you? Oh, it wasn't you. I was on FaceTime. I bleached the spider. Do you remember? <laughs> I bleached the spider. I come back from holiday, so I turned the water off. So obviously, now the dra spiders come up the drain. It's like this big, chilling in my bath, hairy looking thing. I screamed the place and I called my brother to drive to my place and get us rid of the spider. And he said no. So <laughs> I got. Wasn't your brother at work? Yeah, Shane. Yeah. I think I called Shane. Because she like, wanted her please. brother to come from work. I called, I was like, please. I was literally crying on the phone and he was laughing his head off. And then um, I called Reese, and he was like, no, nah, mate, he doesn't like spiders. And then, so I got a bucket of bleach, hot bleach, and I bleached it. I bleached the bitch, and it went back down the drain. I put the plug in, I put bleach down the drain, I put the plug in, and I hope for the best. He never came back, because he died. This girl, like, she told In memory, though, because we, we established that we don't really have sentimental memories, we just have times when we're like... Yeah there for each other as, as friends um but like probably when donna had her surgery and i was going through an emotionally unstable time i didn't uh, so i wanted to i wanted to be around friends anyway so she had surgery so i used I her was bed bound for she two was bed bound for two weeks and i was depressed like not i was not depressed i was heart aching i was going through i was sad yeah so i used it as an excuse to come to Donna's. <laughs> so I was like, so you need help. So she stayed here for I like... turned up one day, I was like, I just come to see you after your surgery. <laughs> just come to see you after your surgery. And she was like, okay. And then I was like, I'm gonna stay tonight, yeah? She was like, yeah, it's fine, you don't need to ask. And then like, I stayed, I think like three, four days. Yeah. Stayed like, and then so I went home one day and then I come back again for another three, four, like another two, three basically, days. Basically, like my dad basically, was like, have you moved in? Yeah, so we're gonna wrap this now. up a little bit. Um, so these are gonna be quite quick. Like snap questions. Yeah. like Because obviously the previous ones have been quite long. <laughs> with, with stories attached. <laughs> yeah, so. Okay. We'll ask, um, shall we ask 10? Yeah. For you and then 10 for me? Yeah. Okay, do you wanna start or should I? You start. So you ask and I'll answer. Am you. I allergic to anything? No. Not that I know of. Not she knows of. Which celebrity am I in love with? Ooh. None. Shawn Mendes. I love his voice, but he's just... Channing Tatum. Yeah. Channing Tatum. And Zach Oh my God. my pony. <laughs> <laughs> um, <coughs> we've okay, answered we've that, answered that. that. Have we always got along well? Yeah, but she pisses me off all the time. It's not actually you. It's only you. <laughs> We're like a married couple, so basically we, we won't like have an argument, but and we won't fall out, but we'll have moments where she puts me on silent treatment. <laughs> And then I get pissed off because I'm on silent treatment. She's like, teach me a lesson. And then I'm like, we don't need to teach me a lesson. We're grown adults. And then we had one recently, but we've only had two of them in our life. Yeah. So, yeah. But I think that's good for 11 years of friendship. Yeah. Um, do you think our friendship will last? Yeah, they say once you get past seven years, it lasts forever. So I'm stuck with her now. <laughs> stuck. Well, like, <laughs> stuck. I'm stuck with you. It's a blessing. Uh, do, do, do. Describe me in one word. Bold. Oh, thank you. Bold. Um, do you call each other in any special way? She says my name in this disgusting way. Rosie! It's disgusting. <laughs> it's disgusting. I should go... Donna. There you go. That one. That one. <laughs> Donna. I've got so many nicknames. On they FaceTime. call me D, Don, Don, Donny, Didi, Donna, Donatella. Donna Kebab, Frita oh, I've got so many. My brother calls you Donna Kebab. <laughs> yeah, they call me Shane calls you Donna <laughs> Kebab. Um, mm. One negative thing about Donna, I'll just, take, I'll just take the questions. Go for it. One negative thing about Donna, she doesn't know when to stop. Like, you see, she said earlier, she doesn't care. Um, she'll just say what she feels. and sometimes, I like to express myself. Sometimes you know? I'm like, there's a limit to expressing yourself because you're borderline offensive. Like, yeah? <laughs> That's one negative. What other ones do you want me to answer? What's yours? Oh. What? If we could, where would we go on vacation? Together. Mm. Ooh. That's a, that's a. 
It would have to be like a beach slash si city holiday. We both love historics. Like it has to be somewhere where it's hot. There's a beach and a bit of we culture. We can relax, and there's so much. Like I love going to cities that there's so much history yeah. to, and yeah. that you can see. But you need to mix it up. So I want to. I want to taste. You want like, a bit of everything. I want to taste a nice coffee in a cute little alleyway somewhere, and uh, go look at like the historical buildings. But but I'm not even gonna lie to you. I don't like the history behind it. I just like the look of the buildings. <laughs> So like historical buildings, but yeah. if you start talking to me about King George the whatever, <laughs> Princess Fiona from Shrek, I don't care. So, I just want to see where I want to see the tower. Yeah, and the dragon. I so, don't want to see. The, I don't want to know the story. <laughs> so. So we haven't actually like got, we'd love to go on holiday together, obviously, but with my. But I'll go to Albania when she gets married. That'll be our first trip together. Yeah, that'll be in like fifty years. <laughs> about a hundred years. Um, I don't want to get. I prefer to get a mortgage and buy a house before I actually get married. But, but obviously, I have to be engaged to move out. So, but um, we haven't actually chosen a place we'd like to go. But we're I very literally want to see. We want to see the a whole lot of the world. world. Yeah. as much of the world as we can see. I want to go more to the little ones. See, I've the done ones that. that people, I haven't. Like, yeah, so you I've need only to do been that. around Europe, and I feel like there's so many countries that some people don't know of or haven't heard of. And I'd love to go and visit those because obviously the ones that everyone goes to. I want to go to Bali. I want to go to Thailand. I want to oh. go to Japan. I want to go to India. I want to go to so places much. in Africa. I literally want to see as we much of like the world. We could do like a year yeah. traveling. Yeah, I've already seen like little city breaks across Europe. Yeah. So we probably should start doing that together. Do we live close to each other? Yes, we do. It's literally five minutes by car. Yeah, literally. <laughs> Which isn't a good thing sometimes. Is there anything weird that I eat? This girl will eat egg on anything. And olives. I love olives. Yeah, but olives are fine. You but can I'll eat that with everything. everything. But I mean, like, sure. <laughs> 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 Honestly, even if she could put an egg on a cake, she'll do it. I would. It. But there's egg in the cake, so it's fine. It's so I don't know. I like, like fried eggs. She likes fried egg. eggs. A fried egg in olive oil only. I only eat olive oil. <laughs> it's, I think it's a Middle Eastern thing, foreign thing. Yeah. Olive oil. Yeah. A fried egg on like pasta bake, fried egg on top, curry, fried egg on top, a roast which I don't eat anyway. It's boring. Fried egg on top, with a bit of olives on the side. Olives and egg go on the uh, like they're like water to me. What about you? Do you eat anything weird? No. You don't. You're pretty normal. Apart from once she was like cooking a bird in her kitchen. <laughs> there was like a bird. I also bought one. It wasn't. <laughs> there was like. What was it? I don't even know. I don't what know, it but was. it smelt so bad. Oh, I don't know. But I don't think she liked it. She just had to eat it because it was being cooked. Yeah. Mm. Hmm. What's your favorite song? I don't have one. I don't have a favourite song. Rosie is more... I think we're both... Older music is better music for us. Yeah. Like, especially the 90s. I get some up. We can, like, no, we can't. Yeah, you can have two <laughs> seconds where you're like... Dee -dee 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 -dee, and then you switch it off. I'm not going to play a whole song. I need to get a grip. Which one are you going to put? Basically, what we love our 90s songs. What um, song? Oh, I know, I know, I know, I know. What? What about that? Yeah. I wasn't going to do that. I was going to... So I'm like, <laughs> as if we're in school. We're actually going to wrap this video up. It's probably so boring now, you're not going to watch him, but it's fine. We're just going to do like little snapshots of music that we listen to. I'm Scary Spice. Yeah. Oh. And this one. <laughs> Love it. This is like the sassy song. Sorry, I'm getting carried away. 
We don't listen to these all the time. We listen to mainstream music. What's this one? Are you ready? Shall we? <laughs> I can't remember it. No, we need to get to the chorus. Do you remember when this came out? We were well young and I used to love it. Primary school, it's secondary school. Ready? Forgot it. <laughs> hey guys, so yeah, we've just spoke a lot. <laughs> yeah, and I think um, it's just gone from like it's not even a get it's not yeah. even a tag anymore. It's just gone like we freestyled it, but it's fine. <laughs> but hope you've enjoyed it. Um, if you want to see a part two, which we can on, which you probably don't because we've done part one, two, three, and four. All in one. <laughs> but if you want anything like if you want to answer, if you want us to answer any questions for a future video maybe just leave comments down below and let me know if you want to see Rosie back here and what kind of videos you guys would like us to do it's yeah. been really fun it has like, actually it's, it's actually it's some... quite weird but it's fun like, <laughs> this was literally like a first day doing it because we did the makeup first so she was like so awkward yeah but now I I I'm not I'm used to like own... talking to a camera yeah. <laughs> but I told her I was like honestly my first video was that like, awkward but now yeah. I feel comfortable it's fine it's quite fun it was fun. And when you have someone, it's even better. Yeah. But yeah, hope you've enjoyed it. Um, like, share, subscribe. Thank you. <laughs> and see you soon.